So what happens when your annoying customer who can't draw sends you a uh, drawing, which is completely wrong? Well, we have to fix it, right? That's what our cam tools is for. Let's jump in. So now that we know almost everything there is to know about our CAD tab, we will jump over to tools. And in this episode, we will talk about the cam tools and sign maker. And just for the fun of it, let's start from the right. Let's start with our tracing command, which, well, let's click on it and open an image. In our samples library, you find a gasket image and we're going to open this. So this is a gasket and iGEMS will convert the image into geometry. So here's the image. We have a threshold. Um, I think somewhere in the middle here is pretty good for this image. Let's just go with these settings. Okay. And we have to place it somewhere. If I press enter, it will put it in the zero. Let's just click here. And this is our gasket. So we took an image and created a geometry from it. But if we select it, we see that there are a lot of handles on this. And a lot of handles means a lot of problems, or at least larger files and not so good cutting results. So let's take care of that. Let's start with the circles or the holes in the gasket. I'm gonna jump into our CAD tab and add a circle, or we can actually, you see there's a C there, so that's the uh, short key on our keyboard C. So I'll just press C while I'm in tools, C, and I have a circle. And I want to add a circle, so I uh, right click, centroid, in this. So that puts it in the center of this um, not so very good circle. And if we look down here to the right, we see a diameter. So if I just go close to the edge of here, see that, okay, so this hole is probably 40 millimeters. So I'm just gonna end the command and start with a circle again. So I press C, start here and type 40. So that looks pretty good. So if I highlight this, it looks very smooth. And if I click on this, not so smooth. So I want to replace all of these holes with this hole. And I can do that with our replace command. So I click on it and we see down to the left, as always, specify source object. And that means this new circle that we're drawing. So I click on it and now we have to specify target objects. And that's these objects right here. I'm just going to select these objects. I could select them all, but let's save some time. Press enter. And this is still not so good, but these are now replaced. So they look a lot better. The next thing we want to do with this is to tackle these two geometries. And we can start by using the cleanup function. And I just want to illustrate what that does. So I, I create a line and I want to use the ortho command for this. So I start here, I go to the right. So that's one line. I go to the left, two lines, three lines, four lines, five lines, escape. So if I select these, you see that there are multiple lines here. And with the cleanup command, what that does is it looks for overlapping geometry and see if it can create, um, well, in this instance, one line 
instead of five lines. So I click on the cleanup. We have to specify a tolerance. That means, are there any, like we know that um, these lines are on the exact same X plane. So the tolerance can be very small. But if they would have overlapped, but uh, like one line was up here, one was down there, we can specify that tolerance. But let's just go for this tolerance. And we select the objects. And click done. And we see segments before, five. So we have five lines. And after, we have one. So if we click on it, there's one line. Now we can do that. Let me remove this circle. We can do that with, so the tolerance, okay, and this geometry, done. Here's a progress bar. So now we see segments before and after. So that didn't do very much. We can highlight this again, and it's not it's not something I would put in production. So what can we do now? There are two things. We can either do this manually by using our edge fix. And let's activate that and edge fix select first point. So you can click somewhere here and here, and then we can create an arc in between those. So here and here maybe. And let's just see what that does. So if we highlight this again, see that this is very much smoother than this. But that's a little bit time consuming to go around doing that. So there is a curve fit command, which is similar to the cleanup, but not quite. So you see this icon, if we had a shape like the black one here, we can turn that into a circle. So I activate it, I have to specify a tolerance. So that that is going to make these arcs that we made here. And this tolerance is how much the geometry can deviate from the original shape. So if we select one here, we can deviate one millimeter from this shape. So I clicked one and let's select the geometry and done. Now that did something. We had 5,979 nodes and now we have 212. So that looks a lot better. And if you want to go manually, you can just do the edge fix, maybe something here. Doesn't look that nice here and maybe here. So that's some commands from the cam tools, which are very helpful. Let's remove this and open an image. So we can just import an image into our drawing. So it's in the samples library again, we open Golv, which is floor in English, Golv in Swedish. So I'll place this image here and we see there's a cutout here. So let's go to our CAD tab and just create a rectangle. This is just a rough shape, so no evil commenting. So create that. Let's create in the endpoint here, like so. And in the tools, we can use our boundary scan. We activate it, specify tolerance. We can select zero and select objects. We select these two that we just drawn. All right, enter. And we can click inside of this geometry now. And if we press enter, we have selected only this geometry. So we took away that shape. That can also obviously be done by trim. 
like so. Let's look at the analyze command. And I know that we have a sample that is not super good. Or it's a very good example, but the drawing is, let's just find it. It's this one, import five. So open that. And let's, let's jump ahead a little bit to show you the problem. Cause if we go to cam and create a part from this, Okay, select this, enter. You see in the preview that the outer geometry is not with us anymore. So, okay. So there's something faulty with this geometry. I'll just go back, undo, and jump back to tools again. So this looks good. We don't know where the problem is in this shape. So there's an analyze command where these yellow uh, things are crossing contours or crossing lines, and these are open contours, the, the reds. So analyze, select these, and enter. And now you see we have a lot of open contours. There are a lot of red X's around here. I don't know if we can see them. They might be very, very, very small. Yeah, they look very small. Um, I've select these. Yeah. So there's one way we can do. When it's like this, I usually go to CAD, join, and I select these, enter. And now we have to specify a tolerance. So if there's a gap anywhere, it has to be smaller than this. Let's type 0 0.1 millimeter because we couldn't see the gap, so they're probably very small. So, okay. Now we have three objects created and three became closed, and that's good. If we go back to cam again and create our part, select these. Now we have the outer geometry in our pre preview. Okay, and that looks a lot better. Let's go back to our first drawing and tools. So that's all of these. Let's go down here and see what we have here. The boundary trim we already have talked about. Vectorize, it's the same as this one, but the reverse. So I'll create a circle by pressing C like that. And I vectorize. Sure. Five looks good. Enter. This one. And it vectorizes this circle. So if I click on it, we have lines now instead of arcs. And we can also divide this. So I select the divide. We have one, two, three, four. So we have eight uh, lines. Select this, enter. I can either divide it by a length or a number. So let's divide this by eight. Okay. Now we see that we have eight lines like this. So let me just make a shape real quick. This. And I'll join these together. All right. Let's say we have a, we're cutting this piece. And since what you're cutting, you cannot have any sharp inner corners, because if this is our jet, this is the diameter of the jet. When we are in this corner, like this, 
the jet will not reach this material. So sometimes we want to make a cutout so that the jet can go and take out this material so that we can put parts not there but all the way into this line. And there's a command for that which is called corner cutout. Uh, we have to specify a distance, so I'm just going to take a little bit larger than this. So I'll click here. And so this you can do at any time um, when it asks for a distance, corner cutout. So specify a distance. Either you can type something or you can click and just, I want to have this distance, for instance. So the corner cutout, select object one, this line. Select object two, this line. Now, our jet can go here and cut out this. And then our part can slide right in here without a problem. We can also make a rectangle. We can also use pocketing. And that creates a pattern of lines inside something. So I want to create lines in this object, enter. The angle of the lines, maybe 45 degree. Type it, okay. And the distance between each line, let's say how we can draw, like click here, I want the distance to be this long. And that creates a pattern of lines here. And from here you can uh, use marking to, to mark this, or you can cut it, or you can do whatever you want. So if I have a shape that looks like this, I'm creating a rectangle and a circle. I'm pressing the short keys here. I want to use object snap here, here, T for trim. Take this away and this away. So if I want to create a something that um, surrounds this, there is a convex hull. Select these, and then it creates a bounding box around everything. There's also, I'm just going to delete this and this. So there's also a function if we rotate this base point there somewhere and just rotate this a little bit, keep original, no. If you want to rotate it and align it to our baseline or to the X axis, go to tools, cam tools, align. Select this and enter. That will align this geometry to our X axis. Our next feature in cam tools is the dovetails, which is a complex geometry uh, if you have to make it by yourself. Uh, so the width of the dovetail, let me just select the width here, something like that maybe. I click on this corner and it will create dovetails like that. And if we see here, let me just copy these, they will fit nicely together like this. It's also a very fast way of doing something if you want to stick it together. And lastly, there is a poly joint. But to show this, I want to go into our type command. So I'll delete this. Maybe I'll make a circle like that. And I'll start our type command, which 
takes all the fonts in the Windows font library and you can create um, signs or yeah, whatever you want basically with uh, type. So maybe this thing, MS Gothic, um, hi. Now we see there's a, this is our height right now. So I can click on height. Maybe I want this to be uh, from here to here, like that. And if I want a linear cursor, that's gonna go linear. If I want to do object cursor, I can click on this object. Then a starting point, maybe in the quadrant of this. And I'll just type. So, uh, Joachim's uh, sign company, like that. Uh, close. That's a really nice logo. And also there are, uh, you can make them bold or italic, you can preview texts, uh, you can use symbols if you want to. But the main thing when you have created a type is to select these because these are not um, vectors that we can cut right now. So go into CAD and you have to explode them. So explode, that will turn them into CAD vectors. And also with signs and type or any other shape that has this problem, if we would cut out this A, and this little drop in here, this would fall out. So in our tools, we have a poly joint. So I have to specify them actually makes a bridge in between here. So I specify the bridge width. I just do it by clicking. So maybe it's something like that. And I just draw this in here. So that makes a little tab uh, for this drop. Do we have anything more here? We have here and here. This is not the best type person in the world, <laughs> but uh, there and there. So that's what you want to do. And you can also, let's do this uh, type, linear cursor, start there. Uh, so I'll start here, uh, like that. I'll select it and I press X for explode on the keyboard. And cam tools, poly joints. I confirm this width that we had before. And I can just do this. Um, let's do it from here. Use the ortho so we get a straight line like that. So I can do that uh, in multiple uh, vectors. That didn't help this drop though, but you get the idea. So that's the cam tools and sign maker. There are a lot of things. I mean, only your creativity will stop you here. So use it and abuse it. And thank you for this episode. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos that will help you become a better person. Have a good one, guys and girls. Bye.